In this Blender tutorial, I will show you how to create a simple golf ball. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Start by removing the cube, so just press X on your keyboard then left click on delete. Hold down shift followed by A, and next to mesh, left click on Ico Sphere. Come to the left of the screen where it says subdivisions 2, left click and type in 4 and hit return. Roll your middle mouse to zoom in a bit. And then just resize this very slightly. So if you press S, then 0.95, that will reduce this a little bit in size. So that's S.95 and left click to accept. Press tab to go into edit mode, and then X to bring up your delete options again. And left click only edges and faces. Now this will leave you with all the vertices. Press A to select them all. Now we're gonna extrude these out a bit from the center. Um, isn't an exact science but if you just keep an eye on the bottom left hand corner here you'll see the size going up so anyway to extrude these out just press E followed by S and move your mouse away from the center and I'm going to just drag this out 1.25 1.26 something like that and left click to accept press tab on your keyboard to go into object mode then hold down Alt followed by C and left click Curve from Mesh Text. Press 7 on your numbers pad followed by 5 on your numbers pad to go into top orthographic view. Roll your middle mouse a bit just sort of to reduce the size. Then hold down Shift followed by A and then next to Curve left click on the second item down this is a bezier circle so just left click on circle drag the circle over by holding your left mouse button down over the red arrow and just drag it to the left a bit then right click on what was your ico sphere look for the curve between the wrench and the orange disc and left click on it. This is the curve data button. And in the geometry section, underneath bevel object, left click and then left click Bezier circle, and this will happen. Right click on the Bezier circle, then place your pointer away from the circle, right up to the top here somewhere. Just press. S and reduce it down in size and keep reducing it until all of the tubes clear one another. Now I'm going to take this down to point, I don't know, point zero 0.05, something like that. Point zero 0.05, that's going to be plenty. Just zoom in just to make sure that everything's. Yep, that's looking good. Okay. Right click on your ICO sphere again and hold down Alt followed by C and this time left click on Mesh from Curve Meta Surf Text. Once you've done that, press Tab on your keyboard. Now we'll need to fill the, ed uh, the ends of these tubes, so press A to select everything roll your mouse if you want to see what's happening now if you press F and wait for a second or two you should fill all of these um, cylinders up okay or all of end faces um, now press tab on your keyboard to go back into object mode okay now this is this comes with a bit of warning, the next operation depends on your computer. 
because um, I'm pushing mine to the very limit to do this. The problem with now converting this or changing the sphere that we're going to be bringing in is that we need quite a lot of detail on the sphere otherwise this will look awful. So anyway just hold down shift followed by A and next to mesh left click UV sphere. Now in the segment section we're going to actually take this up to 320 so left click and type 320 hit return and wait it might take a second or two then in the ring section I'm going to type in 160 and again this may take a second or two to uh, sort itself out you'll know when it's sorted itself out because this will flick over to the right okay right now that's uh, sorted itself out what I'm gonna do now top of the right top right of the screen left click on the wrench left click add modifier and left click boolean box it says intersect left click and then left click difference now in the box beneath object left click and then left click icosphere and then wait this again might take a bit of time okay and then once that's cleared left click apply again it might take a little bit of time and once that's cleared away right click on your uh, cylinders that were originally an icosphere press X on your keyboard then left click on delete and hey presto if you're lucky you should have something that looks like this now what I'm going to do I'll just show you why I made this sphere into so many um, rings and segments um, if I right click on this now left click on smooth even with all of the detail you can see there are still not perfect um, dimples if you like so ideally I would have increased it even more but my computer would just say nah I'm gonna do that so anyway don't look too bad like this um, and that's basically all there is to it hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers